Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. And today, in this video, I'm gonna show you the best registry changes you need to apply right on your PC in order to get better performance while gaming on your any PC or laptop. So guys, if this is your first time here, please subscribe, drop a like on this video, and without wasting any time, let's dive straight into over this video. So, guys, the very first step you need to navigate toward your registry editor. So, go for your window search, search for registry, and you'll find out registry editor. Make sure guys run this as administrator, so right click here, click on run as administrator and open up registry editor on your PC. So guys, now the very first step, we are going to disable the power throttling on our PC that is limiting the power of our CPU and our GPU. This is more helpful for your laptop users, but this also helps you to getting more performance on your desktop. So guys, in the very first step, you need to go for HK local machine folder and click on the drop down. Now you need to find out here system folder and click on the drop down. Now next you need to find out here current control set so here we go to over current control set click on the drop down now go for control and click on the drop down now here you need to find out power options so scroll down until you find out p line so here's my p line and here is the power so again click on the drop down and inside you will find out power throttling so guys here we go to our power throttling settings and here is turn off power throttling so you need to go for modify option you will find out this little window pop up on your screen go for the value data and set it on one for disabling or turning off the power throttling on your pc set the base on hexadecimal and hit ok and guys that's it so guys now the next step we are going to turn off our network throttling that is causing the high ping and ping spikes or packet loss issue so it's better to disable the settings on your pc so guys again open up hk local machine and click on the drop down now I need to go for software options, so open up software folder, click on the drop down. Now I need to find out here Microsoft, so scroll down until you find out Microsoft. Now find out here Fortnite and click on the drop down. Now the next step you need to find out here Windows NT, so scroll down until you find out W line and there you will find out Windows NT. So here we go over Windows NT folder, so go for drop down. Now go for current control version and click on the drop down again. Now you need to scroll down and find out the multimedia options. So guys scroll down until you find M line. So here's my multimedia. Go for this folder and click on the drop down. Now you need to go for system profile. Click on this folder and inside you will find out this network throttling index. So you need to go for this modify option. Again this window pop up on your screen. And now you need to change here this value with f f f f four time again type f f f f four time like total you need to type f eight time and after that click on the ok button and set the base onto the hexadecimal so guys now the next step we are going to optimize our tcp settings which will help you to stabilizing our connection loading the latency and also optimize our connection bandwidth usage so guys you need to follow the step if you want to get the lower ping so guys for that you need to again open up hk local machine click on the drop down now i need to go for system folder click on the drop down again now find out here current control set to go for drop down now open up services folder and click on the drop down now inside you will find our tcp ip so press t from your keyboard and you will find a t line and there you will find our tcp ip click on the drop down now go for parameters and inside you will find the multiple settings so now the very first step you need to find out here the settings that is the default ttl and guys find out default ttl from here so press d from your keyboard and you will find out default ttl so guys right click here go for modify and now you need to change here this value data on 64 and set the base on hexadecimal after that hit ok now the next step you need to find out here global max tcp window size so guys press g from your keyboard and you will find out global max tcp window size so right click here go for modify you will find out here this kind of the pop up window and you need to type here 65535 into this box and set the base on hexadecimal now hit ok now next you need to find out here max user port so press m from your keyboard and you will find out here this max user port so simply double tap here and open up this edit window now you need to go for this value data and use the same value like 6 5 5 3 4 set the base on hexadecimal and hit ok now next you need to find out tcp max dub x so press t from your keyboard and here you will find out tcp max dub x so guys double tap here go for the value data and set the value data onto the 2 now i need to click ok 
Now the next step, go for TCP 1323 ops, double tap here, go for value data, set this value data onto the one, set the base on hexadecimal and hit OK. Now at the end into this directory, you need to find out TCP time with delay. So again, press T from your keyboard and you will find out TCP time with delay. So go inside this registry, go for value data and set it on 30 and set the base on hexadecimal and hit OK. And guys, that's it guys now the next step we are going to disable cpu core parking on our pc and this will help you to improving over performance that is using multiple core of your cpu so guys again you need to go for hk local machine so go inside this folder click on this drop down now you need to find our system folder go for this drop down now again open up current control set click on the drop down now you need to go for this control option and click on the drop down now press p from your keyboard and find out power so here is the power so click on the drop down again now inside you need to find out here power settings so go for power settings click on the drop down and now you need to find out here value that is starting from 5453 so guys press 5 from your keyboard and need to find out 5453 and this is the value which we need to find out here so go inside the drop down and you need to find out here occ 5 v 647 so here i have two registry inside my this folder so you need to go for any of them and click on the folder inside you will find out here this attribute option so guys go for this attribute right click here go for modify and now you need to change here this value data onto zero for disabling your cpu code so guys now click on this ok button and save the settings and that's it so guys now the next step we are going to prioritize games on our windows therefore we can tell the windows to prioritize our game when allocating the cpu and gpu resources so guys for that you need to go for hk local machine again click on the drop down now go for software and click on the drop down now find out here microsoft folder now again click on the drop down now find out here windows nt so press w from your keyboard and find out windows nt so here is windows nt click on the drop down now press m from your keyboard and find out multimedia inside this directory so go for multimedia folder click on the drop down there you will find our system profile so go for it click on the drop down inside you will find out this task option and inside you will find out games option now here you will find out multiple categories so guys now you need to go for affinity first of all so go for affinity go for modify and change the value data of affinity on f set the base on hexadecimal and hit ok now the next step go for background only go for this option set it on false and hit ok now go for gp priority so right click here go for modify and change the priority value data on to the 8 set the base on hexadecimal now hit ok now next go for priority and go for modify and set the base or set the value data on to the 6 and hit ok again now you need to go for scheduling category so go for it go for modify set it on high now go for fsio priority go for modify and change the value data also onto the high and hit ok once you guys apply the settings and guys that's it so guys now the next step we are going to decrease our maximum pre-render frame that will help us to reducing the latency of our mouse and keyboard and get the better response time while we're gaming so guys open up hk local machine go for drop down now go for software and click on the drop down now you need to press w from your keyboard and find out here this folder that is the woof 6432 node so click onto this drop down inside you will find out microsoft so guys find out microsoft folder go for this drop down and there you will find out this direct 3d folder so go for it now here you will find out no any kind of registry on your pc so guys you need to create it by yourself so guys right click here go for new and go for d word 32 bit value so go for it and use the same capitalization like max pre-render frame and press enter so after that open up this modify or this value data window and guys simply set it on to the one and set the base on hexadecimal and click ok now in the next step we are going to increase our system responsiveness therefore we can balance the foreground and background task like for example by default the windows use 20 percent resources of your cpu reserve for low priority tasks but we can reduce this value on 10 percent so guys for that you need to again open up hk local machine and click on the drop down now you need to go for software folder and again click on the drop down now find out microsoft Go for drop down now find out here windows nt so press w from your keyboard and find out windows nt inside this directory so go for windows nt click on the drop down go for current version 
Again, press M from your keyboard and find out multimedia inside this folder. Now go for drop down. Now go for system profile. Inside you will find out here system responsiveness folder. So guys, you need to go for system responsiveness, right click here, go for modify and change the value data onto the 10. For setting the reserve CPU resources on 10% and set the base on hexadecimal and hit OK and guys, that's it. So guys, now the next step, we are going to turn off our Nagat algorithm because Windows use Nagat algorithm that ensures network efficiency, network efficiency by storing small packages and sending them as a large packet instead. So guys, we need to follow this for improving our network and improving our ping while we're gaming. So guys, before changing the registry, we need some value. So go for your Windows search, search for CMD and make sure to run this as administrator for having the full access and hit yes. Once you go out here this window, now you need to type here ip config slash all and press enter here you will find out all the detail i am hiding it just for the security purpose so guys you need to go for your ipv4 address and there you will find out here this kind of the ip address of your pc so you need to copy this address from here after that keep this window open in your background now go for registry editor now you need to go for edge key local machine click on the drop down now go for system click on the drop down now go for current control set Click on the drop down. Now go for services. Click on the drop down. Now find out here TCP IP. So press T from your keyboard and find out TCP IP. So go inside this directory and click on the drop down. Now you need to go for parameter. Here you will find interfaces. So guys, click on the drop down. And inside you will find out here these kind of two folders. So guys, you need to go for the folder and, and find out DHCP IP address. If that is available in one of these folders. So guys, go inside it. And guys here is our dhcp ip address so guys you need to double tap here open up this value data and guys simply paste here the ip address which you copy from the cmd window and guys simply click on this ok button and guys that's it so guys that's it for today's video and guys i hope so this optimization will help you to getting more performance out of your pc while you're gaming and guys please make sure to show your support by dropping like on this video and also subscribe and turn on the bell notification on my this youtube channel and see you again in the next video